You're listening to UnitedWeStrike.com Radio. Don't buy, don't comply. That's why. UnitedWeStrike.com Radio. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the UnitedWeStrike.com Radio Marathon. It is Saturday, April 11th, 2015. My name is Matt Navarro, host of the New World Order Report and producer here at UnitedWeStrike.com. I'd like to say hello to the folks over at listening in at American Freedom Radio. Uh, we're glad to be restreaming with you guys today. And the folks over at Wolf Spirit Radio, uh, I'd like to say thank you to JP. You can hear my, my program on Wolf Spirit Radio this first Saturday of the month at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And my website is nwodor.com. This part of our broadcast, we're very pleased to bring you a lady who's has so much information, I suggest you get a pen and a piece of paper to take notes. Uh, she's always got herself well documented. Deborah Tavares, welcome to the program this morning. Well, Matt, thank you so much. And I do have um, quite a bit of information to cover, and I appreci every appreciate everyone that is listening. Uh, everything uh, as far as documents are concerned that you will hear me refer to during the program today are uh, able to be downloaded for free from our website, www.stopthecrime.net. I'm going to be also uh, recommending some YouTubes that we have done, uh, very important YouTubes. We're going to be covering water. We're going to be covering what has happened and why this is escalating uh, as rapidly as it is. And when we say this, we're talking about the taking of everything about what we are as humans. And we're going to cover that as well. So for those of you, for whatever reason, are unable to download documents for free from our website, you can talk, contact a print shop that will send you, for the cost of printing and shipping, whatever document that you would like by calling area code 707-586-9558. Once again, 707-586-9558. Also, I cover much of what you're going to hear today on the program in detail um, on my program on the Rinse Radio Network. You can listen to the archives on the homepage of StopTheCrime.net. Very valuable information. Uh, also, I am uh, live 6 p.m. Pacific Time, Monday through Friday on the Rinse Radio Network. I'm going to be covering some pretty horrific aspects of our reality during the program as rapidly as I can because it's most important for everyone to understand what has happened. And what has happened, of course, is this false reality of climate change, all based on scientific fraud. So you build in every single city that all of you are in, your cities are utilizing policies from Rothschild and Rockefeller to change your realities. This is being done as we speak. And when you go to the YouTube channel on StopTheCrime.net, you will find one of the latest YouTubes we just released proving that Sonoma County has adopted and is carrying forth policies that have been funded by Rockefeller and Rothschild. Also, the utility companies, specifically here in Northern California and your utility companies as well, are dictated by Rothschild and Rockefeller. When you type in Pacific Gas and Electric, followed by Rothschild, you can have confirmation on that. Very important to listen to the YouTube. Help us get this out further than it has gotten out thus far. We need your help. It is entitled Water Wars, Stealing Water for Profit and Power. Again, Water Wars, Stealing Water for profit and power. You will find some extremely important documents that we refer to during this YouTube. One is entitled uh, Sustainable Growth, Taking a Deep Dive into Water. This was put together by Goldman Sachs. It lists many of the corporate uh, entities that are in uh, the process of privatizing the water supply, creating the illusion of scarcity. Now, this is most important, and everybody needs to hear this loud and clear. We have another website, and it's entitled primarywater.org, primarywater.org. Because of primary water, we do not have 
water scarcity. Yes, because of primary water, we do not have water shortage. We have plenty of water. I'm going to go over that, and you can go to primarywater.org. You can download material that you must investigate, must learn, because uh, what we have going on right now is massive media psyop campaigns to frighten every single one of us into the illusion of scarce water resources. And it's up to us to understand our reality because millions and millions of people throughout the, the planet are going to suffer from water stress and uh, food increases and reduced food supplies. We're seeing this happening uh, right now in California. California can be brought down by the illusion of water scarcity then it's going to cascade across the globe rapidly. And it's already happened in Sao Paulo, Brazil. They've managed to uh, control through the illusion of scarcity one of the largest cities in Brazil. Now, the Earth is the water planet and as such continuously produces water from within the mantle, down under the mantle of the Earth. Once hydrogen and oxygen turn into the vapor, then turns into water, it must be forced up, and it will surface to the surface of the earth through fissures and crevices. And it is most important to understand this. We have an abundance of water. And of course, we know that the corporate government agencies create false science. And they have done that with water, as they did with petroleum. Now we have peak water, just like we had peak oil. We were taught, of course, by Rockefeller that petroleum came from dead dinosaurs and plant material. No, petroleum is also a renewable resource, as water is as well. We can no longer afford to be controlled by disinformation and science to satisfy the goals of massive enslavement, massive genocide, and massive control. We are being relocated off of our lands because of the illusion of climate change, which is obviously, for all of you, you know, climate change has been the ability of the large scale deliberate manipulation of the Earth's climate with geoengineering. We've got to get this straight. It is a deliberate program. It is top secret. We look up, we see it, and they tell us we don't see it. We do see it. Now, as far as water goes, the scarce water and the fact that they told us several weeks ago in California that we had one year's left of water supply. So, it's important to understand that we cannot allow ignorance of where water really comes from to force people to forfeit their farms and their ranches and their livelihoods, believing that they're out of water due to the drought. Uh, primary water is in a being down for water instead of up. We have been taught that water is the secondary water the secondary water cycle, that being of rain and snowmelt. Actually, the secondary water cycle is a result of the primary water cycle, the evaporation of water when it surfaces. This is pure, clean, unadulterated water that is not poisoned by the atmosphere from the bomb testing, the chemtrails, all the pesticide and runoffs that's collected in our reservoirs and then brought into our homes. Most important for all of you to understand, what we face is mass genocide and further illnesses because when you listen to the YouTube, steal it, water wars, stealing water for profit and power and you look at the documents within that YouTube and you see the documents by Rothschild and out of Goldman Sachs and out of the UK you will be amazed and you will understand and you will know the water facts of this great conspiracy, this horrific fraud that is being perpetrated on all of us. 
So it's most important to get this information out. Go to primarywater.org. Look at the YouTubes. We have an extremely important YouTube entitled Primary Water Explained. Primary Water Explained. We have an illustration and with um, Paul Power from the primarywaterinstitute.org, we explain exactly uh, how uh, primary water and the secondary water cycles work. Very important to also understand the um, controllers, uh, Rothschild, Rockefeller, the international bankers, the moneyed families of the planet, plan to uh, force us into uh, water treatment plants and desalinization um, of water as the answer to our dwindling water supplies. Understand, there is no, zero, water treatment plants that uh, can eliminate all of the endocrine disruptors when the water, the, the um, we call it the toilet water, pushes through these water treatment plants. Endocrine disruptors are going to increase obesity. When we attended an IEEE conference a few months ago, and that YouTube is also up for all of you to watch, um, and it is entitled, um, it is entitled uh, Technology, Extinction of Humanity. Technology, Extinction of Humanity. We were told the two leading aspects of health, ill health going forward into the year 2020 and beyond will be obesity and lack of sleep. And we are in the crosshairs of a silent weapons system of massive fraud and massive um, uh, abilities to trick most of the people with true science. So again, go to primarywater.org. Primary water is good news, and it will pr provide all of us with the water that we need. Now, we're not uh, promoting the wasteful uh, aspects of water, but it is important to understand we are in crisis now under the illusion of scarce water resources. And again, it's forcing people off their lands. Now, I'm going to read uh, a few articles that have surfaced in a variety of newspapers here in California about the water uh, situation, keeping in mind we have uh, primary water. I'm going to read a few of the new rules that are coming out to further reduce our access to water. And I want you to pay close attention uh, to uh, the final rule that I'm going to read, but I'm starting with this. Uh, they're requiring uh, campsites and golf courses and cemeteries and other large landscape spaces to reduce water consumption, replacing 50 million square feet of lawns with drought tolerant landscaping in partnership with local governments. Now, let me explain. We have a cash for grass rebate program. And through grants and funding and increasing consumers' water rates, what is occurring is here in Sonoma County, they will give you a dollar a square foot up to a thousand square feet of lawn removal. This is increasing rate water payers' bills, their costs. The next rule is um, creating a statewide rebate program to replace old appliances with more water and energy efficient appliances. I'm going to stop right here and recommend that everybody watch another YouTube we've put out. It was an emergency town hall meeting. It's entitled, Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans? Again, Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans? It's most important for all of you to know the policies, again, that your cities have adopted based on fraudulent science of global warming. These plans are diabolical. And you can see what is occurring now in California with the illusion of water scarcity, literally the shutting down of a state. Well, we're witnessing this here in California. Uh, they also tell us some of the new rules will be um, 
banning the watering of ornamental grass on public street mediums. So we're uh, going to see less and less greenery. Again, uh, we have plenty of water. Uh, also, this is what I want you to pay special attention to. This is a new rule and plan. Directing state departments to provide temporary relocation assistance to families who need to move from homes where domestic wells have run dry to housing areas with running water. They're using the climate, climate change, to rewrite ordinances and policies to redirect population uh, zones, human settlement zones, to create smart cities. This is war. These are war plans. I'm going to talk about these war plans in a moment, but I want to just talk about some of the massive media propaganda that we're hearing about water in California. Now, this is a newspaper entitled the Russian River Times in Northern California. Just uh, for those of you, the Russian River uh, runs very close to Bohemian Grove. The Russian River supplies Sonoma County with the water that it needs. The uphill flows to the Russian River come from the Eel River. There's a reservoir there that uh, PG&E uh, operates for hydro, for, for energy. And in 1930, PG&E bought the water rights for the waters that supply Sonoma County. PG&E is Rothschild. I need to be very clear. This is Rothschild. Now I'm going to read you a couple of sentences from the Russian River Times. This is uh, from March 21st to April 21st of 2015, their magazine. And this is entitled, Sour Grapes in the Wine Country. They're talking about, uh, just to encapsulate it, the uh, problems now uh, that uh, people are having with the vineyards. They say that uh, the vineyards are heavy industrial operations and they're increasing in rural areas and they expand uh, in, into event centers and commercial bottling operations under the pretense that they are merely agriculture rather than alcohol producing factories. Large wineries seek to avoid environmental impact uh, uh, reports and uh, California Environmental Quality Act. Now it's important, I'm going to pause here, understand the wine country of Northern California, Mondavi and other vineyards are Rothschild. Rothschild has significant um, vineyards in France and in the documents that we have on our website, uh, in particular the documents that we found out of the um, UK Ministry of Defense out of England, uh, Rothschild is relocating the wine producing areas in the world. They're going to uh, literally take France out of the major wine producing area of the world. I'm going to continue. Sour grapes in the wine country, the Russian River Times. It goes on to tell us this. Wineries overuse precious limited resources such as water, such as air, air, Wineries are overusing air, a precious limited resource, and land, which threatens the environment and the quality of life in a semi-rural region. They talk about Napa County, Lake County, Mendocino County, all of these are in Northern California, and they're talking about how neighbors have a growing um, descent against large vineyards. But I want to cover what you just heard, air. It's very important to understand what is occurring and the language that is being changed without us realizing what new words mean. There are many new words afoot under the climate action plans and the climate change false venue of global warming. 
okay? And one of the words is called commodification. Now, I've heard this in many meetings. I've heard about the word commodify. And we naturally just uh, think about how we identify or how we define that term. But when you study it closely, here is what commodify and commodification means and where it came from. It's a Marxist theory. Commodification means everything will be bought and sold. The weather, the climate, the water, the air, the food, everything will be bought and sold. The bottom line is everything that was unsellable before will be sellable now. Goes on to tell us human beings can be considered subject to commodification in the context such as genetic engineering, social engineering, cloning, eugenics, social Darwinism, fascism, mass marketing and employment. An extreme case of commodification is slavery, where human beings themselves become a commodity to be sold and bought. It is most important to understand everything that was unsellable before is now going to be made sellable. When we recently attended a conference entitled the American Association for the Advancement of Science, we heard the gaps in profits. The international bankers uh, want to fill any gaps where profits are not being made now. So the big push for the illusion of water scarcity is behind reorganizing the global distribution of food, where food will be allowed to be grown. Yes, allowed to be grown. All the current farming and ranching practices are considered unsustainable under the Climate Action Plans. Very important to understand this. This is what the documents tell us. Current farming and agricultural practices are archaic. They are no longer viable in an expanding world. This is a scientific takeover of everything, even our bodies. Now I'm going to go back to something that we missed in school because our teachers did not teach us. We have a massive weaponization of instruction throughout the schools globally. And you can listen to John Taylor Gatto, uh, Weapons of Mass Instruction, a very, very important YouTube. And we just released a YouTube. Again, go to the YouTube channel on StopTheCrime.net. I just uh, interviewed John Taylor Gatto's publicist, and we have an extremely important YouTube out on education right now as well. But what did we uh, never no learn in school? And why are we where we are right now? Because we never understood that every single year since 1933, the U.S. presidency has every year declared a national state of emergency. We have a de facto government. Our government is, and all of the uh, corporate statutory and rules are coming out of the executive office via executive orders. That's why when about two months ago our research team, which frequently goes to the Federal Register where we find executive orders, uh, and we found the adult immunization plan, and it allows for public comment. Well, I've got to say, the illusion of public comment is simply that, an illusion. We have been taken by mass deception, and sadly, there are far too many people that still want to believe we have a just and fair representation uh, by our elected officials 
we do not. We have been taken. Globally, we have been taken. We receive emails from all over the world, and as you know, the news also attests to this. We are in an illusion, and we've got to understand quickly our reality so that we can take what efforts we're still able to not consent. I would recommend that everybody go again to our website, stopthecrime.net. At the very top, you will see lawfully yours. And you can also type this in your search bar and print this document so that you can understand some opportunities that you still have to um, not consent to what we are all experiencing right now. Most importantly, we need teams of people to spread the information about water because we have primary water. We're going to lose our nation. We're going to lose all of our rural and country properties, massive degradation of our food supply, massive increases in food cost. Many people are going to die. And the resource documents tell us this. This is all part of the genocide program. Now, when I look at uh, the massive psyops about water shortages, they again continue to talk about the groundwater crisis. On the, on the site, primarywater.org, when you go there, there are half-page flyers that you, um, double-sided that you can print and help distribute. There are also um, other links to go to to learn for yourself the true science of water. There's also an extremely important book entitled New Water for a Thirsty World by Michael Salzman. And the forward is by Aldous Huxley. Download this book. When it was released in the early 60s, it was, it was gathered up and burned by those in Southern California that did not want people to understand how water really works. The California aqueduct was being challenged as being an inefficient source of water distribution. It had been recommended that rather than um, distributing the water through the California aqueduct, that they actually do it through a primary water well system. We would have greatly increased IQs if we were accessing the pure water and not the toxic water in the distribution of the atmospheric water, the secondary water cycle that we have all been drinking. An example is in Hungary in the late 1800s, early 1900s. There were many um, brilliant child prodigies that became notable scientists because of their genius. They were drinking primary water. We have been massively and intentionally dumbed down to servitude so that we would not recognize the level of our enslavement. Just as we've been dumbed down with poisons and toxins in the food supply, and of course the fluorides and other poisons being distributed in already toxic atmospheric water delivered to your tap, and now they want to further poison us by um, water treatment plants um, literally delivering sewer water to us. This is the goal. Massive profits by increasing massive, massive cost to treat the water that they will and are accusing us. Too many people using too much stuff and we've dirtied up the planet. It's all our fault according to the documents and the way that the international bankers are selling this lie. They're selling us a lie. Now, um, I attended uh, our, with our research team some meetings here in Northern California. And I want to explain another word that maybe many of you have not caught in the conversation of uh, people know it as UN Agenda 21, 
uh, we call it um, executive orders through the de facto U.S. federal government through the Oval Office. That is the Agenda 21 in the United States. I also want to just um, let everyone know, too, along with um, what occurred in 1933, it's important to understand that under the Emergency Banking Act, um, all sovereign American citizens residing within the United States suddenly and falsely were expatriated. All of our grandparents were expatriated from their sovereign American status without their knowledge or consent. And their labor, children, property, sweat equity, and credit became the financial collateral for the public theft of America's gold. Very important to also note, on October 21st of 1945, the U.S. became a charter member of the U.N. We relinquished our sovereignty in order to become a charter member. We relinquished our sovereignty. We are no longer a sovereign country. The republic we once were is no more. Also, when we look at the diplomacy by deception through the Tavistock uh, Institute, the operational research, and the undeclared war, we have a massive undeclared war. I'm going to just define this for all of you right now as the source documents tell us. One of the documents I'm referring to right now is on our website. It's the NASA War Plan. We've had this document on our website for some time. You can go to the search bar at the top of the home page and type it in. It's also entitled Future Strategies, Issues, Future Warfare, Circa 2025. And to simplify it, we simply call it the NASA War Plan. On page 110, this is what it says, quote, War between mass armies weighted down with outdated equipment has become a third world sport. The advanced world is too vulnerable to survive a war of attrition or mass destruction. The advanced world must learn to conduct its affairs by the threat or use of small specialized forces exploiting high tempo and strategic surprise. This is terrorism. These are the small black ops groups that are going through towns and villages globally and causing disruption. These are the small specialized forces. It also says on page 110 it refers to a man by the name of R. E. Simpkin, S. I. M. P. K. I. N, and a document that was written entitled Race to the Swift, S. W. I. F. T, 1985. Now I'm going to define what they talk about. We will not survive a war of attrition. We are in a war of attrition. That means the action or process of gradually reducing the strength and effectiveness of the enemy by the use of scientific warfare methods. They go on to tell us that um, a victory uh, without fighting is for politicians, intelligence agencies, and diplomats rather than soldiers. We are being fought where the idea of fighting and conquering in all your battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. War is the continuation of politics with the admixture of other means. And they cite that other means include, but not limited to, bribery, corruption, assassination, rebellions, hostage taking, and more. Now for those of you, you realize that part of the gradual war of attrition is through all of the directed energy weapons from the cell phone towers, our wireless devices, Wi-Fi, 
satellites, and more. We know many people globally are being individually assaulted uh, by the use of biomedical implants, and we know that the frequencies are targeting their biomedical implants and, and causing unimaginable pain and death. So we are in a war. This is a war of attrition, and right now it's all deception deception of limited water resources when we have an abundance. So what our team recently did a few weeks ago is we traveled through uh, some areas in the San Joaquin Valley area here in Central California, distributing the flyers from the primary water website to alert the small farmers and ranchers about primary water. Now, this is very important because it's very likely here in California over the illusion and the creation of limiting our resources of water that they will not allow drilling of wells. They've already put a new well drilling moratorium in place in Ventura County in California several months ago. This is likely going to cascade across the state. It is most important. Everyone globally understand we must access primary water as rapidly as we all are able to. This is the only way we're going to combat literally being moved and relocated because of the illusion of climate change and an engineered drought. This is all an enormous fraud that is being perpetrated. The meeting that we attended just a couple of days ago now here in Northern California was on resilience. Now I want to say this about resilience. We are going to individually be blamed for our emotional instability of coping with climate change weather events. We are being told that 100-year storms are now going to be annual events and soon even more frequently than annual events. We're being told that the world will never be the same because of storm-related events across the globe, all manufactured deliberately with weather weapons. We're being told that it is up to each and every single one of us to learn to be resilient so that we can emotionally handle the assaults that are directly aimed at all of us. It's our fault if we can't handle this war of attrition, these deliberate weather assaults on every single one of us. So Rockefeller pioneered resilient cities. You can look this up for yourself. Rockefeller pioneered it in conjunction with Rothschild to create the illusion of resiliency, the idea that our cities must be made to be resilient. So what does this look like? Well, here along the coast, I heard in the meeting that they're going to be spending millions and millions on hard armoring. I thought, what is hard armoring? It's the building of seawalls to prevent sea level rise. Hard armoring. They're also going to have soft armoring, which are removable structures. They talk about uh, that they will be limiting development, massively limiting development, because it's critical to um, limit development where there are natural systems taking place, such as groundwater recharge. Now, we've got to understand the uh, San Joaquin um, groundwater basin, where they're saying there's land subsidence, where the land is caving in, and where there's over-pumping. It is true, if there was not the level of pumping for the secondary water cycle, that's only the secondary water cycle, rain and snowmelt, over time, the groundwater basin 
would likely recharge because of the slow seepage of primary water. All they need to do to more hastily recharge some of these areas is to allow the primary water to uh, get into these um, basins, these over-pumped basins. That is why they burned the book up, New Water for a Thirsty World. They didn't want us to know this. They go on to tell us that we, in order to avoid natural hazards, uh, like landslides and floods and fires uh, and sea level rise, we must stay out of those areas. This is, again, how they're going to move populations based on false science, based on climate change, all false. Now, here's what I would recommend everyone that is listening to do so that you can confirm this for yourself. Here's a good way in which to test the agencies in your communities, and you will find them. Type in, for example, your local city, followed by policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Again, policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. You will find your cities have signed on to this um, uh, mis, um, uh, falsified science of global warming and climate change. You can do the same thing with the Center of Disease Control and Protection. Actually, you can also type Rothschild behind the Center for Disease Control and Protection. The Center for Disease Control, known as the CDC, is the face of Rothschild. The Center for Disease Control and Protection is behind the falsified lies of climate change. So is the EPA. So is the FCC. So is FEMA. So is the Department of Defense. The Department of Energy. In fact, so is the Bar Association. Yes, the Bar British Accreditation Regency was set up by Rothschild to foment the lies of the fraudulent currency. Yes, the American Bar Association resolved, and I'm just going to read you a couple of their resolutions here. They resolved that the American Bar Association reaffirms its 1991 commitment to sustainable development and adopts the internationally accepted concept of sustainable development as recognized at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in 1992. And of course, this was at the Rio de Janeiro Earth Summit. At subsequent international conferences, um, but they go on to say that environmental protection, economic development, social development, and peace for present and future generations. The American Bar Association encourages governments including the U.S. federal, state, local, tribal, territorial bodies, as well as businesses, non-governmental organizations, and under other entities to promote sustainable development, including by adopting and implementing appropriate measures with respect to their own facilities and activities. Now, in the meeting that we just attended, in order to put teeth into the climate action plans. Again, a YouTube that I recommend you watch called Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans. You will understand the plans that are in your neighborhoods by watching that YouTube. In the meeting that we just attended, uh, Northern California is partnering up with um, UCLA Law and uh, Stanford to put teeth behind these fraudulent scientific policies based on a lie of global warming. They're partnering up with what many people have sadly been taught in school, that the judiciary system served us, just like our government. It's de facto. It serves the interest of the corporate structure. We have been massively, massively deceived. I want to go on to say that NASA, the USGS, the Department of Interior, and many other agencies are behind this fraud of water scarcity here in California. In fact, our regional water control board uh, is working with the RAND Corporation, R-A-N-D. The RAND Corporation wants to see 
zero energy use or as close to that as possible by the year 2050. It's not possible to have zero energy use unless you massively eliminate life. So it is important to understand what we face. It is more important to not consent with your local de facto city councils and board of supervisors. They are passing fraudulent policies with the help of a de facto fraudulent bar that is of attorneys that are, again, feeding this disinformation into our reality, redefining the planet, all life, and the transhumanism agenda as well, redefining what is life. They're, they're in the process of a conversion of all farmland, and this is what we're seeing by the illusion of scarce water resources. They're moving in Monsanto. That will be the answer, because certainly we are very much aware that they have drought-tolerant seeds and that this is the plan. And in the UK Ministry of Defense documents, they're even going to have 3D printing of food. This is what we face, a world that is not real, people that are re redefined. In fact, I'm going to read this because I think this is absolutely important. Uh, this is in a very important book. I would recommend all of you consider obtaining this book. It's entitled Fruit from a Poisonous Tree. It's written by Melvin Stamper, S-T-A-M-P-E-R, Fruit from a Poisonous Tree. And it's about secrets that were never revealed to us, such as uh, American blacks were set free as slaves, but they were never free men. I think we can all agree to that. All that you own belongs to the Federal Reserve, everything you own. You are made a slave by the way your name is even spelled. Many of you are aware of that. The Constitution was set aside during the Civil War and has never been in effect since. Again, this book is Fruit from a Poisonous Tree by Melvin Stamper, S-T-A-M-P-E. Are. Also, uh, you will find this in that book, and you can also just look at this on your search engine. It is a statement from Colonel Edward Mandel House, H-O-U-S-E, uh, and it was... Can you get into your mic a little bit? You're fading a little bit. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Matt. Uh, it, this is a statement by Colonel Edward Mandel House, and uh, this was... Um, uh, stated in a private meeting with Woodrow Wilson, who was the president from 1913 to 1921, quote, very soon every American will be required to register their biological property, that's you and your children, in a national system designed to keep track of the people and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a chargeback for our fiat currency. In other words, they knew eventually we might discover some of the fraud, but sadly, we've accepted this fiat currency, and the bar attorneys have been largely responsible for this fraud as well, as well as our teachers. But moving ahead, the quote continues, every American will be forced to register or suffer not being able to work and earn a living. They will be our chattel or our property, and we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of the law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions. Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly delivering the bills of ladening, our birth certificates, to us, will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent, secured by their pledges. They will be stripped of their rights 
and given a commercial value designed to make us a profit, and they will be none the wiser. For not one man in a million could ever figure our plans. And if by accident one or two should figure it out, we have an arsenal of plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government by floating liens and debts to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest of expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance, social security. Without realizing it, every American will unknowingly be our servant, however begrudgingly. The people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption. And we will employ the high office of presidency of our dummy corporation, the U.S., to foment this plot against America. Colonel Edward Mandel House, again, this was in the memoirs of President uh, Wilson, who was president from 1913 to 1921. Very important to understand what the Tavistock Operation Research also told us. The founder of the Tavistock Institute for Human Relations was to perfect a system that would subvert and then control the thinking of human beings so that they could be channeled in any direction so desired by the Committee of 300. That's a secret society. Committee of 300, also known as the Olympians. It must be said that to do this, one must introduce an automated mentality into the bulk of the targeted population. This is an objective with very far-reaching implications nationally and internationally. I'm going to pause. This is what we're all facing through in the United States through the RAND Corporation, R-A-N-D, the RAND Corporation. We have been stealthfully deceived in all levels of meetings. They call them public meetings. It has nothing to do with us, the public. The meetings are deceptions, giving us the illusion of public input. Many know this technique that the RAND devised as the Delphi technique. Again, I recommend that you all watch Water Wars, Stealing Water for Profit and Power. Uh, we show how the RAND Corporation was set up, and this was discussed in the report from Iron Mountain, and we, sh we illustrate that in that YouTube. Most important for this to be shared far and wide so that you understand and at least get a foundation of where we are all right now. Deborah? Uh, yes, Matt. That's a good... Um that's a good report to, to read. I, I recall reading the report from Iron Mountain sometime back in the 90s, and it's pretty accurate even to this day. We've got about three minutes left. Can you please wrap up and give us your websites and any closing thoughts? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Um, everyone that has been listening to this program, please share it far and wide. Um, go to StopTheCrime.net. We have many links. We have links about what is happening in our schools right now. Go to our YouTube channel. Uh, certainly a look at the evidence uh, that Sonoma County adopted Rothschild and Rockefeller policies. It is there, uh, the printouts of the agendas that they adopted and the policies and the proof that these were all uh, funded by Rockefeller and Rothschild, which, by the way, uh, joined teams back in about 2012. They are now working together, Rockefeller and Rothschild. Also go to primarywater.org. Uh, please educate yourself on the real water facts. We are the water planet. We have an abundance of water. There is not a limited supply. It is continuously made down deep within the mantle of the earth, and it surfaces in geysers, hot and cold springs, oases in the deserts. Also an amazing story that you'll find about Muammar Haddafi. 
and the great man-made river project, the eighth wonder of the world, supplying Libya with 70% of its water needs. This was blown up by NATO uh, back in about 2012. Uh, again, uh, that was primary water. Israel has um, tapped into primary water. Uh, many locations throughout the globe are tapped into primary water. They are drinking Thanks, pure, Deborah. fresh, um, po- non-toxic water. Again, this is Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net, PrimaryWater.org, and ToxicSky.org as well. Matt, thank you so much for having me on the program today. We always appreciate you taking the time uh, to help educate us. You bring a lot of information and uh, uh, good documented information, uh, like your videos, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again here next month. Ever appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Everyone, please uh, spread this info far and wide. Thanks. Okay, we've got Dr. Rima Lebo coming right up and Ralph Fusatola from the Natural Solutions Foundation. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. You're listening to UnitedWeStrike.com Radio. Don't buy. Don't comply. That's why we now do this right out comrade.